speaking at her local city hall in Franklin, Tennessee. Take a breath for this one, okay, Mark? Okay, so today, so um, let's start again, mm. all right? So speaking at her local city hall in Franklin, Tennessee, where local officials were voting on whether to allow the parade, allow the parade, the former Saturday Night Live, Saturday Night Live star and comedian Victoria Jackson gave a bizarre reference to Bible verses in a bid to support her claim. She said that, quote, God hates sodomy. He hates homosexuality. It's an abomination. And God ha hates sexual immorality of all kinds. One of the things he hates the most is pride, end quote. Jackson then urged listeners to watch YouTube videos of apparent former gay man Beckett Cook, gay man Beckett Cook, who claims that he became straight after listening to a church sermon. Watch this. Victoria Jackson, God hates sodomy. He hates homosexuality. He said it's an abomination. And he hates, God hates sexual immorality, all kinds, fornication, adultery, etc. And God hates pride. <clears throat> like one of the most things he hates is pride. Proverbs eleven twelve. When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with humility comes wisdom. The Lord detests all the proud of heart. Be sure of this, they will not go unpunished. Proverbs sixteen eighteen. Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before fall. And Sodom and Gomorrah proves that God hates sodomy and sexual morality and pride. And it's still there. And archaeologists have uncovered it. You can go on YouTube and see it's a frozen city in sulfur uh, and fire and brimstone. Brimstone is sulfur. I just want to encourage Thank this you. generation not to be brainwashed and to watch Thank Beckett you. Cook on YouTube. Beckett. Thank you, ma'am. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you. Thank you. You can Th exit th the stage. Thank you. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, thank we, you. We Victoria all have who? YouTube. Victoria who? Vi what? Vi How long since this woman has even been relevant, well, Mark? Oh, my God. Like 20 years. This has been her biggest speaking gig, I think, in the last... 20 years it and she was and she was shit on SNL. Do you too. folks remember her on Saturday Night Live? You probably don't. No, and you... that was the character that she played. Like I exactly. thought it was the character that she played. There is no difference between every character that she played and 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 that. Listen. But, but it, can, can we just look at some of the logic here? Because number one, you have this huge problem that okay, if that is what you believe that that God said, you know, why do those rules extend anywhere beyond your own House. personal your domain yes your house your church but what you. belongs what belongs to you the fact that this is where she takes just i mean uh, another crazy logical leap is she goes after pride as the biggest sin mm -hmm. but what are you doing there using your religion as something that you are so proud of that other people should follow it it is just, it's such BS. There I am so is. glad that clip was not longer. Oh my God. And like, she should be embarrassed of that. And then God hates pride. I don't know. I swore I saw God at Miami Beach Pride a couple months back. And I swore, and I invited God to come to Stonewall Pride. And I think he's going to make an appearance. I don't think God hates pride. I, don't fall for anybody who says that they have a direct line to God. I mean, the most spiritually connected and aware people that I know are also the, the first to admit that like, hey... This is this is our best guess. I'm going to guide you as best as I exactly. can. Exactly. We don't know well, it all. The minute that somebody does say that they know it all, there's an agenda at work. Get out of the room. So, and God hates sodomy. So, no more blowjobs for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Why? Sure. We don't live in Tennessee. We don't, oh, we don't live okay. in Tennessee. Okay. It's yeah, okay. We're, we're Florida, so we're ten minutes behind. Yeah. So we'll get to <laughs> next year. <laughs> We'll get there next year. Oh, God. That's on the made, next legislative you just made agenda. Me so sad. Good God. <laughs> Listen, Victoria, enjoy your two minutes of fame. Go back to obscurity where you came from. You weren't funny then. You're still not funny. And I can't believe that they literally made these characters around you. It's the same exact person from SNL. I thought you were playing a dumb person. You actually are a dumb person. All right. Let's move on to something Goodbye. more fun. Bye. Bye, cortinas. Next. <laughs> so cortinas are curtains in Spanish, right? I knew that, but I didn't know that that Well, was so like, basically it's kind of like, okay, we're done. Whatever. Curtains. Cortinas. Cortinas. Chao. Chao, Chao puta. Cortinas, puta. Damn, I love the puta <laughs> aspect. I wasn't going to ask her. I wasn't going to call her a puta, but I mean, it <laughs> all works. It all works. If Bad Bunny could do it, I could do it That's too. That's right. 
So, did you enjoy the show? I know you did, so make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news, or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen, right there, so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.